We're back. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Well, thanks for making fun of me right off the bat. Uh, at I, least sets this uh, the, this episode off to a non-aggressive start. <laughs> which I'll passively aggressively release later in the episode. This is, uh, I changed the day because it was getting dark, and I wanted to see if there's anything new in the uh, item you store. You can change the day? Yeah, you can change the day. Like How? It, it's in the menu when you restart the game. Uh, but, ooh, we got a letter. <laughs> you just cheated. Letter to Borat. Well, yeah, but... Ryan, wait, how are we supposed to record a bunch of Let's Plays if it's just going to be nighttime when we record? Can't you do like, stuff at night? Doesn't crazy stuff happen at night? There's, no, there's nothing sleep. that happens in the woods? Some crazy events? Yeah, I mean, there are, but also, uh, like, you know, there's different bugs and fish at night that you can catch from the daytime. Oh, we don't have all that shit yet? Yeah, and it's like everyone goes to bed and the store's closed, so. Got it. Uh, all right, ooh, warning, crazy deals, crazy red here. I'll be bringing my fine furniture and insane bargains to your town at 6 p.m. on March 2nd. Okay, so basically this guy, he, uh, he'll stop by every, like, week or two. Ooh, Ooh. weed. <laughs> Gotta pick it. Wait, uh, really? Yeah, so, like, you, you, also, you have Ooh, to another one. your town. So, like, your town will start to, Not even uh, your town, though. I mean, it's a town you live in, but it's not like you're the mayor of it, like well, a newly. It's, but I own this <laughs> town because I own the video game, Ryan. So do you get what I'm saying here? You are the god. I am god in this situation. This realm is mine. This Ooh. is your son, who's come down for you. Yes! Got a what? fucking fossil! Ooh, Swing do you only find bones. out what it is when you take it? Oh. Is he like, oh, I can identify this, this is a, and then he says what it is? In the new games, yes. In this one, this is what you have to do. Ready for this? I gotta go, I gotta write a oh wait, I have to actually trigger this event first. So let's go down to the museum! Because we can actually donate fossils and shit now. Um, but We've talked about adventure, right? Adventure? The, oh, in the Columbia, adventure South museum? Carolina? Have you gone? Where you walk inside Big Ed's big tummy? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's just raising kids on board. And you slap and you slide down Big Ed's big anus? Yes. We're not kidding, guys. There's a um <laughs> South Carolina there's a museum where you go inside of a big body. A big little boy. Is he a boy? He's a little boy. I thought it was like a grown man. <laughs> no. It's a little boy. That's weird. That's straight up vor, isn't Hold it? On, let You're me... like going and he's like swallowing you. I think it's. I thought. I thought it was like a little boy with a hat. Well, a man can wear a hat, Ryan. <laughs> um, no one wears a hat like a boy, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm wearing a hat, Ryan. Does that make me a boy? <laughs> yes. I've got nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? <laughs> that was a good movie, dude. It's a great movie. Uh, look at this. Oh, dude, they predicted Twitter. Look, look at that. That's a boy. Yo, that's free. Okay, I haven't been here. You haven't? I've been to a different one. Okay. I've never- that's a legit yeah, boy. You go inside the boy. You start off, I think, in his head. That's freaky as fuck. And you fuck. work your way down or some shit like that. That is scary, man. <laughs> I imagine some nightmare scenario where one day he just comes Wait, to life. Wait, you've never seen Ed Venture? No! Dude, if we- when we go, um, to Columbia for our tour, can we, like, shoot yes. some stuff there? We will do a video inside of Ed Venture. There's a place where you milk a cow and shit? Is, is that inside of Ed Venture? Yeah. You gotta milk the- the tentacles? Not inside of Ed, but it's inside- <laughs> I love going inside of Ed. That's why they call it Adventure, because you go, you take oh, an adventure inside of Ed. That's insane. I went in one in like some other state then, where it's like a big clear man. Man, she's talking our ear off. He, um, it's green, so it could go. He's got way. a hot ass daughter in the next. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Does she got big old titties? Yeah. Does she got big old owl titties? Oh yeah. Do the nipples droop down to her knees? Yes, they do. Weird choice from Nintendo, but. They certainly do. <laughs> My name is Celeste, and she has large nipples. <laughs> All right, so uh, nice. we actually can't mail this fossil off yet. Until Why I not? Get, I have to get a letter in the mail the next day from the uh, from the other museum, which can actually examine shit. So let's talk to Pee Wee then. Hey, buddy. No, I don't want any. I'm telling you for the last time, you foul creature, go away. Oh wait, it's just you. Um, what, what do you think his voice sounds like? Like that. That's what. Isn't that what he said? Isn't that not his voice? Yes. I was hoping you could do a funny accent, but you know what, Ryan? That's fine. Well, too. a funny accent. What's a funny accent? Give me a funny accent, man. Italian. Is that a funny accent? Yes. <laughs> Italian's a hysterical Give me some accent. more funny accents. Just Italian. <laughs> Just Italian accents? You don't want to say, you know, Chinese accents aren't funny? Uh, of course not. <laughs> no. They're, they're serious. What it's about like... Russian accents? Are those funny? Eh, 
Russian accents can be pretty funny. A Mexican accent. No, not funny at all. <laughs> Ryan, careful here. Oh, dude, I just dug up a thousand bells. An Irish accent. Very funny. <laughs> okay. Isn't it? It's kind of funny though. How there's like some accents that you can like make fun of, but some it's like, don't do not touch that. I know. It's like. It's like, dude, Italian. That's that's a fair game. Like anyone can make Italian's fun. of Italian's fair game. I think. Um, Swedish, German, French. That's sweet. Okay, how about this? Anything like European, right? Yeah, you can make fun of any European accent. Spain, but not Mexican. No. Or South American. No. It's Latino. Nope. So, uh. Spain, yes. Yeah, you can make fun of Spain. Because it's very like, ooh, Spain. Ooh, Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. No, that's how they say it, apparently. Barcelona. In, 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 oh, shit. It's the end of the month, which means the raffle's going on. Look I earned this one raffle ticket. Visor. I love it. So, apparently, uh, in Barcelona, they Barcelona. It's pronounced Barcelona. Like, that's how they Barcelona. say it. Barcelona. I know someone that went there and they were like, yeah, everyone, like, corrects you to say Barcelona. 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 <laughs> Hey, welcome to Barcelona. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to Hawaii then. Boy. Every, everybody in uh, Barcelona sprays spit on you. So, uh, <laughs> on purpose, because you're yeah. a dumb American. Don't go to Spain. Go That's their only way that they can get away with spitting on you is it's by actually... correcting your correct speech of their fucking town. It's actually Sorry. just pronounced Barcelona. <laughs> their Barcelona. town? Barcelona. I know, I know. The tiny town. <laughs> the tiny town of Barcelona. The tiny, wimpy, stupid town of Barcelona. If you live in Barcelona, you should just go, uh... Why don't you go ahead and, uh, <laughs> cut your hand off? Yeah. It's the Super Mega Bar Barcelona Challenge. <laughs> Gotta cut your hand off for the funny YouTube, man. Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> we shouldn't have to say that. We shouldn't have to say, oh, do I love how our cut your hands There's off. There's one kid out there that lives in Barcelona <laughs> that's just gonna be like, Oh, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but the funny YouTube men told me to do it. It, uh, it's funny I because hopefully we don't live in a. I don't know. Reality's weird. Sometimes I don't know, dude. I could just see it's just some dude out there cuts his fucking hand off, and, and we then, get blamed for it. I know, and it's like, well, they clearly stated in episode four of their Animal Crossing GameCube series uh, that if you lived in in Barcelona, cut your hand off. Don't, guys. Uh, I'm gonna enter the raffle. Let's see if we win anything. I only earned one raffle ticket this month, so. Uh, oh, I need five raffle tickets. Jesus Christ, never mind. Um, well, the store's not open today, so whoop de doo Maybe I should skip another day ahead then, you know? I can't buy any new tools or anything today. And I need to get that letter from the museum so we can start donating shit. So uh, don't mind if I uh, secretly cheat and change the day. What? Yeah, I know. Welcome home, Borat. Cheating? Uh, Is it cheating? In my normal game, I don't I know. Don't I used cheat codes all the time when I was a kid. I loved it. It was fun. Oh. I used cheat codes in the Jaws game so I could play whatever level I wanted and I didn't have to go through the story. I used uh, I used cheats in Grand Theft Auto 4 when I played it. Pretty much, if there was a game, I looked to see if there was cheat codes in it. Tony Hawk was probably the game that I used a lot of cheat codes in. 100%. Do you remember at the Scholastic Book Fair as a kid? They'd have those like cheat code books. And Where they're like really skinny too. and they're like lime green and yep. or like light. One of them was like highlighter fucking yellow. And it's printed on the shittiest newsprint. It's like, like cracked font. Yeah, and it's like, it, it was all like hacker themed. And you could just get so many cool fucking cheat codes for your PlayStation games and your GameCube games. But they weren't always like up to date no you know oh i love that outfit i'm gonna get that oh we don't have a penguin in our town not yet we got we got this fine little mean, lady not yet can we kick people out of our town people move out and move in all the time wait really yeah <gasps> more people will move so in. so some people like you're like see ya and then it's like no please uh yeah so some people like they'll give you a warning before they move like you'll go in their house and they're packing all their boxes oh my god and you're like sad. no no and then you can convince them if you talk to them enough not to move out really uh but some people like you'll just turn on the game and they're gone so one day we all oh, that's so sad it's like what happened oh they moved it's like oh that sucks but you will have like a uh teaches you lost they always send you a letter uh so like one of the saddest things is like a villager i really love and have bonded with and then i start up my game and there's just a letter but it's like well i'm off to bigger and better things thanks for all the <laughs> memories and then all I have to remember them by is that letter. Can you keep it? Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, you can store all your letters. That's awesome. It's That's sad, so sweet. Right? It's fucking sad. I like how melancholy this game. Well, even like Harvest Moon also had like a very melancholy tone to it. Oh, this has a lot of melancholy stuff. Around Halloween, there's a ghost that drifts around, and he's the like, melancholy ghost. I think he's all sad. Is he called the melancholy no, ghost? It's called Wisp. Well, Maybe, what wait, game is this? 
Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing and the Melancholy Ghost. <laughs> Sounds like a Harry Potter book. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Melancholy Ghost. Just a sad ghost. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you know, I tried antidepressants, they didn't really work for me. It's Moaning Myrtle, dude. Oh, yeah, there already is a character. Um, oh, one from the museum. Did she we get was one? very horny in those movies. She is, man. She is looking for some Harry Potter wand, if you catch my drift. She was, like, looking at his cock under the bubbles and shit. I forgot about that. That's straight up not okay, Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> I know. Don't do that shit. She's fucking old, too. Imagine having, like, a horny old man ghost in your house. <laughs> oh, my God. Just, like... <laughs> Always, like, peeking at you when you're changing. You wake up, and he's, like, fur just, like, jerking off in the corner. Like, it's actually, like, it's a creepy image. Like, this white, pale-faced man, like, just silently staring at you, like... Matt, like, not like, not like this, just like... It's just like... I hate that. Like, and he has paint all around his lips. <laughs> That's how he died, was he ate, he ate paint thinking it was yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ghost. It's the ghost of that fucker. That dumb ass old man. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, he's probably done so so many honorable things in his life, and we're just like, this old, stupid, fucking old man <laughs> ate paint, and he thought it was yogurt. It couldn't possibly be because he's old, so his facilities are failing, and he made an honest mistake that he can't help and put his life in danger because he just wanted to enjoy some, uh, some yogurt. <laughs> I love that old man. But that was two episodes ago or some shit, so if people are upset that we we bashed him, two days later we get to issue our apology. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> he's probably a nice guy. I'm sure he is, dude. I mean, he's, he's pain after all. <laughs> he can't be mean. <laughs> no! I mean, if he's stupid I'm, enough to eat pain. I've, I've never met a mean man who also eats pain. You know? It's like, they're, they're an uptight <laughs> asshole. They're never gonna accidentally eat pain because everything in their life is so calculated and meticulous. He lives on the edge. He's just like, you know what? Today is gonna, it's just gonna be whatever whatever comes at me, even if it means I eat toxic <laughs> a paint, big bucket an entire of yogurt, half a fucking pint of it. It wasn't cold either. It was like, how would he think it's paint or like yogurt? Yogurt's cold. That was like probably hot or room temperature. Dude, he has a lot of ad space on our on our let's plays right now. Hey, because he's making so much money off of it, of of that tweet where he actually <laughs> ate some. Oh, we got a new villager. What? Look, someone move out? Uh, no, someone just moved in. Oh, I love it. Oh, she's a little frog. Emerald. Uh, I haven't lived in Borat too long, but as far as I know, it's pretty nice. <laughs> nice! Woo! You're Borat, aren't you? <laughs> I look forward to seeing you around. And your wife. <laughs> oh, 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 man. That's good. Yeah, that's fucking good. Uh, uh, there's also a cheat code in this game that just gives you $30,000 every time you use it. But we're not going to use that because that's too much cheating. Um, but I'm going to go Are ahead and... Are you sure it's not too much cheating? <laughs> like four episodes in, we're already using like, cheats <laughs> like that. No, the start of next episode, we're just like, hey guys, and we don't address it. But like we have like fucking millions of bells. Did a little off-camera grinding. <laughs> I know, but like the time, the timers only changed with the same location. It's like one day later. <laughs> um... I am going we did to did some grinding <laughs> for a million bells. Yeah, dude, it does, it's you sell some cherries. <laughs> uh, we're going to pay off. I so our first goal is All I just want to pay off our debt so we nope. can get a better house. God damn, we, we have still a have a, a bit. But now that we can catch bugs, we can start selling bugs and shit. Oh, also while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mail off my fossil so tomorrow we can get it back and donate it to the museum. Um, let's see. She's sweet, and at nighttime, her sister has a shift, and her sister's like really mean, and the music's different. Is it creepy? Is it like so, like a uh, like? Yeah, it's it's like cranky like, sounding. Like in the uh, that's that's kind of similar to the Luigi's Mansion song. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, did that's you know not... this game actually used a? I feel like I think this game used the engine from a uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, Ocarina of Time or some shit. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that they use the same engine. Also, Ryan, back to the horny old man. I was thinking it's more of just like, like a casually horny old man, but like, he'll just be the kind of guy where like, you'll bend over to pick up laundry in the other room and you're like, woohoo, woohoo. It's like a creepy little like, like the guy from Family Guy. What? What's up? I gotta call my Oma and wish her a happy birthday. You gotta call your grandma and wish her a happy birthday? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just remember she goes to bed early, so it's like I need to call her like right now. now? Yeah, if you don't mind on being in on this call. Oh yeah, I'll be in on this. Okay, um, um, hold on, let me mail this uh, fossil off to the museum. Looky, looky. 
Gonna start growing that fossil collection real soon, y'all. Get excited, get excited. Um, and let's go make some money to keep paying off our debt. I, I hope to have this debt paid off in an episode or two. Ooh, if I find the money rock, that's the perfect way. I'm gonna go look for the fucking money rock. She isn't picking up, so she might be taking the dogs on a walk. Or she could be eating a half a pint of paint. Hello? <gasps> hey, Oma. Aw. This is Ryan. Guys, Ryan's talking to his grandmommy. How are you? Aw. I just, it warms my I'm heart. I'm good, I'm good. Just uh, calling to wish you a happy birthday. It's not my birthday, Ryan. Are you... <laughs> so far, there's still more birthday to go? Uh oh There's all night, baby. <laughs> Who knows what the night will bring? Yep. <laughs> She's gonna get fucked up. She's gonna smoke a bong. <laughs> She's gonna drink a bunch of beer. Do shots. <laughs> Well then, I I hope your 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 birthday rest is good. It's my favorite uh, bit in the episode, where Ryan just legitimately wishes his grandma a happy birthday did, while I did you hunt for the money rock. Uh, did did y'all eat at home or did you go out somewhere? This is so real. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, did y'all go out to a restaurant <gasps> or did you uh, eat at home? Ooh, fancy, fancy. Unlimited breadsticks. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. I wanna get that pill bug. Gotta dig a hole. Oh, did it run away already? Is it still there? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. You know me. I'm, I'm, I, I have, it's been a while since I've had a salad, so I, I'm, I'm, my main excitement comes from the breadsticks, unfortunately. <laughs> I know, I need to. I need to, you're right. I need to eat more greens than I will. Yes, I will see you in April. Yes. Oh. Because we're coming to do a show. And I'm definitely gonna come say hi. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Thank you. Thank you, that's very sweet. Oh. Well, Ryan uh, wished his grandma a happy birthday. Yep. I love her. It's like a 25-minute phone call. Well, I mean, she's my grandma. But she's, we're she's... recording Let's Plays. All right. Because, literally, we're at 33 minutes into the- You literally the, into the... put your sister on, like, a few episodes back. Right, but I didn't pause everything we were doing to do that. You put, I incorporated you, you, it. Yeah, but I'm not going to put my, my grandmother's voice- So where does the history. argument with my sister lie now? Where does it lie? Yeah. In the same place. No, it doesn't. Still took up time to have family conversation, and you used it, it was for, for business. It was for business. Because you're yours a greedy was, little what, your, business Your goblin. use of it you was sees, not for you business. You seize money and everything, including your own family. You disgust me, and I and I quit. Goodbye, good sir. I salute you, you fucking asshole. I saluted you. Let the record show I saluted him. I was wondering why you said I saluted you, because I saw it. I watched, I watched it. <laughs> Like, you're in, like, drill, like, with your drill sergeant, like, <laughs> I saluted you! <laughs> God damn it, Private, that was the best salute and alert of salute I have ever seen! I think that, I think, I think, Justin, this is a good place to end. Go ahead, let's just stop the fucking episode.